so I just got out of therapy like I mentioned in my first video my therapy sessions are usually on Thursdays at 6 p.m. so when I get out of therapy it's usually dark outside it's just the last video I had to reschedule so it was actually on Saturday early in the day um, excuse the lighting but it's just nighttime and I rather record these I rather record these videos right after my therapy session so I can just say everything when it's fresh on my head and not end up going home and getting distracted with the churn and all of that. This one is going to be really short. I just want to share one thing that um, I brought up in therapy today. I was telling my therapist that I am trying not to fall back into bad habits. You know and she was like why like what bad habit are you referring to and i'm saying this without giving too much context because i ain't trying to put people business out in the streets <laughs> okay but um which is actually my business but other people are involved so i'm not gonna say too much but um i was saying that i have this habit where like i would give something my all like i would exhaust every option i would try and try and try and I'll just give it my 150%, 200%. But when I'm done, I'm done, completely done. And I was just telling her that like, I remember, like I could just close my eyes and I remember the day I woke up and I was completely done with my last relationship. Like done in the sense of I didn't even want to be there anymore. Cause I had done mentally leave, but I was done in the essence of like, I don't even want to try anymore. I don't want to even stay for the children anymore. Like I was just done. I remember I woke up one day and I like, I didn't even want to be in his presence. I didn't want to see his face. I didn't want him to touch me. I just, I was just done. And that's because like I had done exhaust everything. I tried and I tried and I tried and I finally came to the point where like, I just knew nothing would change. Things are getting worse. And at this point, like I just need a way out. But given the situation, even in that moment of knowing and acknowledging and feeling that I was completely done I felt so stuck I felt so alone because I was like here I am completely done ready to leave and I have nowhere to go I was just telling her that I don't want to feel that again I took that as a negative feeling but she pointed out to me that listen that's why you're here because you had that feeling that's a good thing that's not a bad habit you was able to find your way out of that you was you saved yourself like you did what you had to do to leave don't be scared of ever having that feeling getting that feeling is you realizing that this no longer serves you it's time to close this chapter it's time to move on that's a good thing and i was like you know she is so right that is very true if I never had that feeling I wouldn't be here right now in that moment I realized that maybe with this current situation that I'm navigating is not that I'm scared of that feeling is not that I'm scared of experiencing that feeling again maybe I'm just maybe I just don't want to feel like that with the situation but if it do come this is what she said she said if if it does get to that point where you feel like you're done again that's not a bad thing it just means that you came to the realization that this doesn't serve you right now and it might not even mean like it doesn't serve you ever ever again in life but maybe it just doesn't serve you right now and uh, I don't feel like that right now about this situation I don't I'm not there but I was just telling her that I didn't want to get to that point after today i realized that if i do get to that point i'm going to embrace it because it just means like she said that it doesn't serve me right now and every night i pray that everything that no longer serves me can be revealed to me so that i can release it if this happens to be one of those things then i will just have to release it and sometimes it's a painful experience healing is painful if you don't feel everything you're feeling while you're healing, then you're not truly healing. It's been a long journey, but I must admit that every time I have a therapy session and I come out with clarity, it takes me three, four, five steps further in my healing journey, which is why I even decided to start this because therapy has been helping me so much that I really just want to encourage everybody to go to therapy. <laughs> everybody man woman and child my son is in therapy my four-year-old um of course it's not designed in the way that my therapy is because he's very young but 
he's in therapy and he's gonna grow up knowing that therapy is not something to be ashamed of or to be scared to go to because we all need it in some way shape or form I'm grateful for that clarity that I received today and going forward what I want to do instead of thinking about how something may end or how I want it to end or how I want it to continue or not end whatever the case may be I'm just going to every time I feel my mind wandering off in that direction I'm just gonna reel it back in and focus on me because I do a lot during the day like if I even tell y'all half the amount of stuff I did today and yesterday y'all would probably be like what but I also make time for the people that I care about I expect that to be reciprocated instead of focusing on all of that I'm going to focus on me and just focus on what I know I want to manifest my life to be and um, continue working on that and I'm just gonna let everything else fall into place where they need to fall and go from there and I'm just gonna embrace it I'm gonna embrace it I'm going to even if it feels uncomfortable in the moment, even if it feels painful in the moment, I'm going to embrace it. I'm going to allow me, I'm going to allow myself to feel all those emotions and then I'm going to release it because if it's one thing my journey has taught me so far is that everything happens for a reason. And I know that sounds so cliche, but it does. It literally does. So um, that's it for this Therapy Thursday. I know I didn't give too much context this time but um, some days I'm gonna share a lot and some days I'm not it's just depending on what I discuss and the level of it just depends on what I discuss you know I'll decide how much I can share without putting other people business out because I share a lot but there is really like <laughs> there's a lot y'all don't know and there's a lot that you all may never know but uh, I just go based on how I feel in the moment. If I feel like oversharing in the moment, I will. But if I don't, I'm going to keep that personal. And today, what I discuss, I'm going to keep personal. But I did share pretty much my takeaway from the session. And um, it was good. Anyways, that's it for this Therapy Thursday. If you are not in therapy but have been thinking about going to therapy, let this be your sign to start, okay? To all my melanated women, protect your womb by any means necessary. And to everybody watching, protect your peace by any means necessary. I wish you all love, light, and prosperity. And you will see me in my next video.